allegedly stole a deputy's cruiser and caused a deadly crash. And that woman was going more than 100 miles per hour when that crash happened. The woman who stole the cruiser died along with two other innocent people in that other vehicle. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm John Brown. Another person still fighting for their life in the hospital. And Fox 35's Marie Edinger is live in Ocala tonight. So Marie, the sheriff is really fired up about this. Yeah, he sure was, and he had some strong words. You'll hear from him in just a bit, but I want to mention he was not the only one fired up. I talked with several people who were in the plaza where this all originally happened. They told me they saw a woman trying to break into cars, and the sheriff's office says that's why they were originally called out. They said there was a woman trying to steal a car from an elderly lady, but it turns out it was a deputy who wound up with his car stolen in the end. I'll go right to the back. No. Body camera video shows the moment the Marion County Sheriff's Office says 33 year old Kendra Boone climbed in through the passenger side of the deputy's patrol car. And you saw how fast that happened. I don't care. Even my 34 years of experience, that would have happened to me. In seconds, she's in the driver's seat. Stop, stop. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> with another deputy after her. And it was like insane. It's horrible. It's horrible. She took off down Highway 40 with the sound of speeding cars and sirens drawing people out from shops along the way. It was a scary experience because in my thought, like, you just, you just don't know what's going on at that point. The sheriff's office says she was careening down the road at over 100 miles an hour, eventually slamming into a pickup, killing two of the three people inside and herself. The third person who was in that truck is still in the hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, this is her criminal history. Sheriff Billy Wood says Boone has faced charges all over the state and believes she should have still been in prison when all this happened. Asked whether the sheriff saw any issue with the deputy leaving his car running when he stepped out. That means Okay. That doesn't play a factor in anything. This moron stole a police vehicle and killed two human beings. What my policies are, what the procedures are, mean nothing. We did nothing wrong. My deputy did nothing wrong. Stop! Stop! I also asked what it was like when the sheriff's office got the call that the deputy's car had just been stolen. Panic. Panic. Because we know what's in the vehicle. There's a long rifle in there. The moment she did that, she was a threat to human life. The Florida Highway Patrol is investigating the crash itself. They are not releasing the names of those two innocent people who were killed. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says last it checked, that third person who was hurt, other than, of course, the woman who they say caused the crash, the person who is still in the hospital is in critical condition. Live in Ocala, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.